Hello and welcome again to this video. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to split shapes in Inkscape. You can use this method to quickly split up shapes and obtain new shapes from them. Together with the eraser tool, this method can be used to get same results like the knife tool or the shape builder tool of Illustrator. Let us start by taking the first tool here on the left, the rectangles and squares tool. Click on this tool to select it and click on the canvas and pull to the left to create a rectangle. If you want a square, you can hold down the control key while pulling to constrain the object. The object will come up with the last fill and stroke you used. Let us change the fill by going to Object, Fill and Stroke and selecting Fill, then Flat Color and giving the object a black fill. Then select the stroke style and make it zero. This way we'll let it to have no stroke. I am going to create a line segment and use it to split the object. For that, I'm going to select the Bezier or Pen tool and click on the artboard to create a first note. Hold down the left mouse key and while holding down the control key, drag the mouse further. We notice that we can snap it in angles of 15 degrees when we move the line up and down. So I will take it up a couple of times to create a line at an angle and then double click to end the line path. Obviously, we can split the object using a vertical line, a horizontal line or lines at any angle of our choice. I have chosen an angled line in this case, so our result is not boring. It does not matter what stroke you use, the cut is going to be a thin slice. I am going to go to the fill and stroke palette and add the stroke a little bit so you can see the line path better. Next, we are going to center both objects so that the line lies on the right angle. I will select both objects and go to Object, Align and Distribute and center on the vertical axis and center again on the horizontal axis. Now I am going to select both objects and go to Path, Division. Notice a thin line going across and showing where our object has been sliced. If you use the Note tool and hover over them, you are going to see the two new separate shapes being highlighted. I will go now and choose the Selection tool and notice that I can now click and drag aside the new shapes. Amazing, isn't it? Let us take a new two-dimensional shape. I will go ahead and select the Ellipse tool. I am going to left mouse click on the canvas and drag the mouse while holding down the control key to draw a perfect circle. If we want to position the circle, we can pull a guideline from the rulers and place it here. Select the node tool and click on the circle. We are going to see this geometric center marked with an X. Let us grab it and pull to the line to snap to position. I am going to draw a line path like before, then give it a stroke of about 1 mm so we can see it. I will select everything and center on the vertical axis and again center on the horizontal axis and that will align and center both objects. Then I will go and select both objects and go to Path, Divide. And here we again have our two objects we can pull aside. Now you may ask the question, what if we wish to divide the circle into four or more parts? I am going to take the case of a circle divided into four segments. 
I will draw a vertical line using the pen tool and draw a horizontal line to cross this vertical line. Then I'm going to select both lines and align along the vertical and again along the horizontal axis. Then I will go to Path, Combine or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl K to combine both line segments. Then I will select both objects now and center again on the vertical and horizontal axis. Then after doing that, I go to Path, Division. And now you see we have sliced into four segments. We can now go back to the selection tool and pull aside our separate segments. This was easy with the lines cutting through at 90 degrees. If you intend to have more lines and different kinds of angles, that will be done in Inkscape using the Clone tool. I have a link to such a video for you in the description section below. And the last object we will consider is a triangle. I will select the Polygon tool by clicking on this icon. This tool control bar up here will show. I will choose Polygon and set the corners to 3. Then hold the control key down to constrain the drawing and draw a triangle. I will draw a line segment like before by using the Bezier pen. Then select both objects and align across the vertical and horizontal axis. Then go up here again to Path, Division. I will click by the side to deselect and we now see we can pull aside each of our objects in a separate way. This has been one way to split shapes in Inkscape. Please visit the description section below for more tutorials on this subject. If you found the video useful, please give it a thumbs up below and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.